Hi, I'm Charles Kithcart, Executive Director of African Diaspora Maritime. Welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy the website. African Diaspora Maritime is an organization that was put together to compete in the America's Cup and other related regattas. The larger mission is to connect people of African descent that are outside of Africa. And sometimes we don't realize there's Africans or people of African descent in Panama, Cuba, uh, South America, in, in Brazil, you'll see a lot of people of African descent, Central America, a lot of black Hondurans. This gives us an opportunity to connect with the black Canadians and uh, Africans and people of African descent all over the world. The concept of having the team compete in the America's Cup is going to draw everybody's attention because it's a prestigious, sexy event with fast boats and lots of money being spent. So it'll draw people in and then we can educate them and show them some history that they may not be aware of. The, the, the literature that we've uncovered, uh, they're great books. And they're very interesting books, not just from the fact that I'm a mariner, but historically African Americans have participated in the maritime trades to a tremendous level. And as people find out about this and want to know more, we're going to work with the publishers to get these books available on our website so you can purchase them right then and there. And as you read these books, you're going to feel proud and you're going to feel responsibility to live up to a legacy that's already been established. My goals for ADM are to expose the African American community to sailing. But not just from a standpoint of the money involved and that we're going to have a cocktail party on the back of a fancy yacht, but that we have actually have a history of sailing within our own culture. And if we can learn that history and also motivate the kids to learn the math and science behind high-tech sailing, there's jobs involved. So we've got history to learn, we've got technology to master, and we've got jobs that we can fill. And there shouldn't really be a problem in the economy of this country if we all participate and spread out and learn divergent professions. I became captivated with the America's Cup in 1988. I was in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, working on a ferry boat, and I was seeing all the America's Cup class boats, the uh, 12 meters, um, and then I saw Shamrock 5, the old J-class from 1930, that was Sir Thomas Lipton's last challenge. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful vessel. There she is. That's a model of Shamrock 5 up on the wall. And that was my moment. And I read about Shamrock 5, read about the America's Cup, became enamored, and then um, sort of the greatest day of my life was when I was hired to be crew aboard Shamrock 5. And I stumped and walked around Newport, and I was just thrilled. Uh, and ever since then, I've been paying attention to the America's Cup, working for different America's Cup teams, and uh, studying the whole history, and it's a beautiful, great history. So I'm, I'm proud to have done that. How do you fund an America's Cup team? Uh, most people are afraid to even conceptualize competing because it's so expensive. But when you use the numbers that we have as a people, you can sell things and you can uh, get a give a return on the investment. So if somebody wants to fund our organization, they say, what am I getting for the money I donate? And we have the educational programs, the exposure to the history, uh, the exposure to the math and science. Uh, we're also going to sell hats and jackets and t-shirts. And we'll be looking for people to look at that logo and say, that's a beautiful logo. Um, it speaks to some heritage that we somehow have gotten removed a little bit from. And we think that combined with that and the excitement that we can generate, that it shouldn't be much of a problem. We also won't have exorbitant salaries. We'll, we'll live a frugal lifestyle and uh, we'll do quite well. Well, the competition is a sailing competition. And what we want to do is get in there and compete. Um, right now, we're on the sidelines because there's a legal battle that's going on. Uh, we plan on getting into the competition. And as a return on the investment, we don't just ask people to donate, but we're going to do something with the kids and motivate them and show them the math and science behind high-tech sailing and the history of the Black Mariner. Uh, as far as the builders and designers are concerned, they're going to have a Build a Builder program where we teach uh, these young kids and these college grads how to get into the maritime boat building industry and also the design program. We'll have a design a designer program and we'll get some candidates and let them do some understudy apprenticeship work with these top designers that we have. 
this is going to be an entree into jobs in the maritime industry. So it's not just a competition, but it's also a way to create a career. In the America's Cup, we have two boats that they're featuring. The first boat is the AC-45. It's a smaller boat, and it's got a hard wing, and it's a catamaran. So we've, we've got three things there that we're not used to. Um, the hard wing is going to make that sort of like a, a foil, and so there's a lot of aerodynamics that apply to this. And uh, the catamaran is something that's relatively new. We used the catamaran in 88 for the uh, deed of gift with stars and stripes, but the baby catamaran, AC-45, will get everybody used to it, and then we build up to the 72, which is a monster with a gigantic wing that's hard. So this will be pretty exciting. From the website is everything that the organization encompasses. So when we talk about designing the yacht, we're going to have our designer on there and he'll have a blog and he'll have uh, some information to pass along to talk about, to talk about the process of designing a boat. And just from a blank sheet of paper all the way to conceptualizing it and he'll be using computer-aided design CAD and it's extremely complicated, a lot of math and science it involved. And there's programs that can predict how fast this boat will go on a computer. These are velocity prediction programs and we'll also expose students to this so they can see how math and science that they're learning in school relates to a real job that's being done.